Hello and welcome back. Happy 1st of November. Today, we're going to experiment with smoothing prints. So I've always wanted to experiment with smoothing prints. Smoothing PLA parts to be specific. And I've seen people smoothing ABS prints with alcohol fumes in a jar or whatever. But I don't print in ABS. I print in PLA. I have seen examples of people using like 3D gloop and things like that to smooth PLA and the results are pretty good. However, I wanted to try something that's just, uh, well, cheaper. If you look at the 3D gloop, it's on sale right now from $30 to $25 for 120 milliliters. And all I could find on Amazon specific for smoothing 3D prints was $29. This UV resin was only $19 for 120 grams, which converting grams to milliliters is one to one, so 120 grams is 120 milliliters. Same as the 3D Gloop. Granted, I had to buy a UV flashlight, but that's a one-time buy. So I'm okay with that because I still got the flashlight and the resin for less than what the 3D Gloop is when it's not on sale. Anyway, now that we have a price comparison down, let's jump right into the experiment and see how well this works or if it even works at all. Okay, I wanted this video to come out yesterday, on Halloween, but my birthday was Friday, so things got pushed back. Anyway, so as you can see, I've printed this low poly skull. I must have had a little bit of blue filament in the nozzle, because there's a slight blue ring around the bottom, but it should still be fine. As I'm pouring and painting this resin on, I'm thinking, oh crap, hang on a second. Resin gets hot when it cures. I hope this doesn't melt the print. Thankfully it didn't. Now, I tested this resin with the flashlight on a piece of cardboard just to check how long it took to cure. And it says it takes about two to four minutes with a UV light and up to 20 with sunlight. It did take about three minutes on my test. However, this was still tacky after about eight minutes and I think I would have benefited from having a little UV curing station opposed to the flashlight, but it is what it is at this point. Like I said, after about eight to 10 minutes, this was still too tacky, so I had planned to take it outside and leave it for five to 10 minutes and let the sun finish taking care of it. Lo and behold, in good old sunny Florida, it's a bit overcast. So I left it for the full 20 minutes just to be safe. And I hope you can see this well, I, I don't have the greatest camera, but it turned out really good. I did miss a few spots when I was painting it on, but that's my fault for rushing this because I wanted to get this video out today. Though I really hope you can see how smooth and shiny it is. Sure, you can see the print lines, you know, if you get up close, but I think if you spend a decent amount of time prepping before you apply the resin, you'd have some really great results. Okay, so if you're looking to give some of your prints a nice smooth look and feel, I recommend giving this a try. Or if you already have, leave me some comments. Tell me, did it turn out well for you? Do you know of any other inexpensive, easy ways to smooth out your PLA prints? Leave them down below so we can all benefit from the knowledge. Okay, before I go, I do want to mention that I broke the 100 subscriber mark. I know, I know, it, it's not a lot, right? But it really means a lot to me. It means a lot that you're all enjoying my videos enough to subscribe and, you know, want to come back for more. I genuinely thank you. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, have the best day ever.